Hello everyone and welcome to the first official tutorial for Test Suites. Test Suites is a no-code test automation tool that turns any tester in your team into an automation engineer. Today I want to show you how to set up Test Suites for your project. Quite simple, so let's get started. The first thing we'll do is add the latest Test Suites package, 1.11.2. Once that's done, we have a few lines of code to add. First one is we want to make sure that test suites is set up by calling setup test suites in our main function. The way that test suites work is that it adds an overlay on top of your app that allows you to add the automation points that you want to then later on use. So to do that, we add a new builder. The builder is a function callback that allows you to overlay the UI on top of any view that has been navigated to in your app. This child view that you see over here is the view that you get back when you do a navigation. And on the project ID side, you can get your ID from test suites in your project settings folder. Copy that and paste it in. And that's the basics of what we want. Now, there's two modes that test suites can be in. One is to capture your widgets and the other one is to run the automation tests. So for capture widgets, we have a constant called drive mode, which will be true when you have built the app for automation. So we will pass that value capture widgets. If it's not in drive mode, we want to capture the widgets. The next thing we need to do is to inform test suites which route we are currently on. To do that, we'll pass in a new navigator observer from test suites. That's everything that you need for the setup. There is an optional setup that you would require, and that is if you have a bottom navigation bar. If your bottom navigation bar actually navigates to the different indices then you don't need to change anything if you implement it like i do which is swap out the view for the body of the scaffold based on the index then you need to at least tell test suites what index you are on this can be done by accessing the navigator observer instance and then calling set bottom nav navigation so the index will be the index passed in and for the view name, in my case, this would be the main view route. And this will just be dependent on how you name your routes. With those few changes, we are now able to run test suites and see the new test suites UI. You will now see the test suites UI available where you can start to add your interaction points. I will link a full video to placing interaction points and writing test suite scripts after this video. There's one more thing that I want to mention, and it is the difference between the builds that you create for test suites. So there will be two builds that you can create. You can create a build in capture mode, which will give you this UI that I just showed, where you can capture all of your automation points. And then you'll use a different build to run your automated tests. The first build, you just create a normal Flutter build in debug mode specifically. So you have to add debug. For the second build, you will add debug, but you will also add a dot defines for drive mode and set that equal to true. This allows test suites to connect to your application through this drive mode value and allows us to drive the application when you are running your automated tests. I'm working on a solution to swap this without having to make two different builds. At the moment, we haven't found a solution that works, but I am working on that. Now that you know how Test Suites works and you've set up your project, watch this video next and you will see exactly how to add the automation points and think about writing your tests using test suites. I'll see you in the next video.